world. Give God a hand clap of praise for the Reverend Al Sharpton as he comes today uh, to be here with us, the community of Hope Church family. Thank you. Give an honor to God and to our pastor, Reverend Lee, and certainly to all of the ministers. First, I thank God for another day, a day that we didn't earn or deserve, but through his goodness, he gave us anyhow. I'm so happy always to be around my young brother, and uh, I always say that they're Tony and I represent the two hairstyles in black ministry. We go from one extreme to the other. Everybody else is in between. But I've been on tour the last 10 days all over the country and in Maryland today encouraging our people to come out and vote. This Tuesday's election, for you that have not voted in early voting, this Tuesday's election is vital. A lot of us do not understand. You know, people say to me, Reverend, that uh, people don't understand, black people don't understand the midterm election. I say, well, because it's the first time we had a term. So anything new, you don't need to feel bad about understanding. Understand, it's the first time we had a black president this is the first time we thought it was middle of our term. It was always the middle of something else before. This is important because the president cannot do what he needs to do if he does not have the people in Congress to help him do it. It's like having a quarterback with no blockers. He can be a great quarterback, but they're going to sack him every time he gets the ball. Now, a lot of us getting all concerned and upset we haven't got everything we want and nobody complains more than I do and Tony joins me in marches I thank him for helping us with reclaim the dream in anything we do but none of us grown thought we'd go to the polls in 2008 and vote one time and manna would fall from heaven we knew this was going to be a process when you look at the history even in the 60s 68 at the end of Dr. King and Malcolm and all of that, in 68, the country still elected Richard Nixon. And then he re-elected 72. And would have gotten another Republican in 76, but they caught Nixon's boys breaking an entrance in the Watergate. So then we had four years of Carter, then we went right back, eight years of Reagan, four years of Bush Sr., then had eight moderate years of Clinton, then eight years of Bush Jr. So when you count up all those conservative years of Nixon and Reagan and two Bushes, 24 years of conservative tax cuts to the rich, trickle-down economics, you don't expect a brother to come in in less than two years and flip all of that. So we need to get with them and get behind them and I'm beseeching all of us to come out and vote on Tuesday. We fought for the right in our grandparents' time. You don't have to get shot. You don't have to have no biting dogs. You don't have nobody bombing your church. All you got to do is get up and take 20 minutes to vote for your children and vote for your mother's Social Security on this Tuesday. So I want to thank Reverend for letting me to just barge in with that message. I'm moving around. But I want to encourage us. I know that church folk believe in voting and believe in standing up for what's right. You cannot ask God for more if you don't use what he already gave you. He blessed us with a vote. We need to use that and he'll bless us with some more. Thank you. God bless you.